Welcome to the RYM Student Podcast, helping you fit God's truth into your life. Reflecting on biblical truth is vital for the life of the believer. We hope this podcast will encourage you in your walk with Jesus. The following was recorded at one of Reformed Youth Ministries conferences. The audio might not be clear, but the message is. We hope you enjoy it. God made us this way, and so um, with sin entering in and all these things we face, I want to say to you also, the struggle is good. The struggle is good. It's worth it. The reason why this is so painful and also at the same time so beautiful and amazing is because God made it that way. In some ways, our sexuality, because He made us male and female, expresses most profoundly our relationship with Him. And so it's no wonder that it's so painful when it goes bad. It's so painful when we're hurt by it. It's so painful when it disappoints us because it's so awesome. And yet we fall short of it. Any other thoughts on just the culture we're in? It seems like it's getting more and more confusing, too. Like you were saying, there's a lot of disappointment and hurt. So people are saying, well, maybe I'm gay or maybe I've had some of the bad experiences. Yes. We are all shaped by our environment. We're shaped by our choices. But our sexuality is, is especially shaped and all the struggles that come, whether it's same-sex attraction, isolating ourselves, and pornography, and masturbation, whatever those things are, like, that's the confusion. Like, what, what, how are we supposed to do it? And, and left to ourselves, we experiment. We try all sorts of things, right? It's just scary to think what's online and out there that people are inventing to, to try to find satisfaction, to try to find an answer to how God has made us but without his guidance, we, again, end up in a lot of pain and struggle and frustration. Anything else? Yes? Nothing besides, like, church and whether you, like, surround yourself with good people is keeping you away from it. It's, like, entirely you that makes, like, you know, that has to keep yes. and intact. And I feel like that's a lot on one person when everything in this world is telling you something else. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to talk about that kind of the, the keys to fighting well, to struggling well. Um, it, do you feel? I feel like this is like one fish going down a stream of a thousand this way. You know, if you choose to maybe think a little bit differently about it, or choose to make different choices than your friends are, the saying no to the pressure you're feeling from someone, it can feel like I'm crazy. Like I'm crazy. What's wrong with me, right? <laughs> and so it is very important what you're filling your mind with, who you're surrounded by. And sadly, the one place that should be shouting from the mountaintops, and you should have, I'm convinced that every church should have a six-week sermon series on the awesomeness of sex from their senior pastor every year. And everybody should be there, from the little kids to the adults, just as a yearly refresher of how good God made it. Why are we so quiet about it? Why is the church so quiet about it? They're afraid they can get the wrong image, considering the way the culture is. They don't want yeah. to make someone think, oh, is that fine then? So I'm just going to yeah, go yeah. ahead and do this. Yeah, so afraid of being misunderstood, afraid of misrepresentation. And I think just, just like we don't know what God has given us. We don't really read our Bibles well and understand the good gift and that we're to fight for it. I don't know. I can't change that. I've been talking about this for like ever, it seems, as a youth pastor and as a pastor. And I don't know that things are getting any better. And they may not culturally. So, review. Who made sex? You made us male and female, and it is good, okay? And the struggle then is good too. For more information on RYM student conferences, visit rym.org forward slash conferences.